Hi, my name is Joseph Oisu and I work in social innovation at Experian. What that means is that I think about the ways in which Experian products can help the roughly 2 billion people who are unbanked or underbanked around the world do simple things that we take for granted, like having a bank account and being able to earn a living. And today I have an incredible story to tell you and some even more incredible people for you to meet. I meet Teddy and Agostina. They are both aspiring entrepreneurs and leaders in their community, who both live in Peru, South America. Teddy lives in the Amazon rainforest. And Agustina lives in the Pampa Chica Pura area. They are part of the more than 2 billion people around the world who technically don't exist. 1 billion people could be lifted out of poverty for existing government financial support programs across the world. But without any way of proving who they are and setting up a bank account, they cannot access the money that could lift them out of poverty. 2 billion people work in the informal economy globally. They have no job security, no rights as workers, and often suffer at the hands of unscrupulous employers. They are also the hardest hit by the health and economic impacts of COVID-19. But Teddy and Agustina, like many of us, have big dreams. Nosotros también este, buscamos alternativas para que nuestros hijos, nuestros jóvenes puedan salir de acá de la comunidad a la ciudad para que puedan continuar su, su estudio en las universidades, en los diferentes institutos. Queremos tener un mercado ya para poder seguir adelante y a dar ánimo a trabajar también y, y comprar nuestra pajita también para este, seguir trabajando. Ese es el sueño que tengo yo con mis socios, les digo que hay que seguirlo, ojalá que lo, lo logremos para poder nosotros no dejarnos caer atrás. Those big dreams come with challenges. The COVID pandemic has closed local markets, halted tourism, and highlighted the challenges that the poorest people face in a world that's getting used to living and working remotely. Agustina and many of the other women in her entrepreneurial women's group never learned to read or write. The group used a straw to make hats, flowers, jewelry boxes, bags and purses, and wanted to grow their income. But without an education, starting a business online was going to be very tough from the outset. Teddy lives in the middle of the Amazon rainforest and has difficulty accessing the internet, even for his children's education, because of the dense rainforest. This is where the Experience Social Innovation Team and our partner in Peru, Perspectiva, offered to help Teddy and Agustina in a pilot program. Experian provided Teddy and Agustina with brand new laptops and super fast Wi-Fi. We also connected them to two business mentors from Perspectiva to help them officially register their businesses, get national IDs and take their businesses online. Our local team in Peru is also helping them with branding, design and marketing. With our help, Agustina and her women's group took off. For Mother's Day 2021, they secured their first wholesale order for $1,500 US dollars. That's more money than they made in all of 2020. They are now in the process of formalizing their business and have been added to the Peruvian government's export directory. That means that they can now sell their goods around the world and pave the way for the next generation of women entrepreneurs in their community. Yo sé que de aprender aunque tenemos que aprender aunque no sepamos leer, pero nuestra memoria está que lo podemos aprender nosotros como madres que porque nosotros como madres analfabetas queremos aunque sea salir adelante. Teddy and his community surprised us all. We thought we were helping them set up one business, but they went and set up eight. That's eight new business plans, eight new websites, and eight new entrepreneurs fulfilling their dreams. Teddy and his community were also harvesting plants and other key ingredients for food and pharmaceutical companies. With the help of Perspectiva, they've been able to negotiate fairer prices for their products. Our local team is now helping Teddy and his community get national IDs. We are also supporting the local government in translating financial documents into his native language of Shipibo. As for his daughter, well, she's now one step closer to going to university. Helping Teddy and Agustina has been one of the most rewarding things I've done in my time at Experian, but they're just two people in over two billion. I'm working with Experian teams around the world to scale this project and other ones just like it, because we believe that companies like us need to tackle this problem. Leave a comment with your ideas of how we can help more people like Teddy and Agostina.